All Kinds of Families, written by Mary Ann Hoberman, illustrated by Mark Boutevant. Families, families, all kinds of families. Families are people and animals too, but all sorts of other things fit into families. Look all around and you'll see that they do. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family. The stars and the sun and the moon are a family. The socks in the drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you're part of a family. As soon as you're born, you're a daughter or son. As soon as you're born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you're born, it's bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family. So can a loaf with its slices of bread. Celery stalks or a big bunch of carrots, they sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you find to make families? Pennies and card decks and marbles and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers and crayons and tacks, bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. Clams in the sea make a clamily family. Lambs in the field make a lambly family. Jams in their jars make a jamly family. And yams in the cupboard a yamly family. Out in the yard you'll find dry twigs and branches, horse chestnuts, barberries, acorns, and cones. Down at the beach you'll find pebbles and seashells, soft colored beach glass, and ocean smooth stones. A saucer and cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or the fork or the knife. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. If you are the first baby born to your mother, your mother's a mother because you are here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father's a father because you appear. If you are the second one born in your family, someone is a brother because you arrive or someone's a sister, and you are a sister or brother the moment that you are alive. You can make families from clay or from Play-Doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard. Make them from sticks or balloons that you blow. Spools are a family and tools are a family, and chalks for the blackboard at school are a family. Six slices of cheese or a pod full of peas or a key ring with keys, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. You might say that numbers belong in a family or alphabet letters or notes in the scale, the colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano or stamps for the mail. Inside or outside, in summer or winter, you can find families for so many games. Families to play with, spend most of the day with, telling them stories and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. Make-believe families and families of people, families of people from long, long ago. Families like stepping stones crossing the water, leading to now and the families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from. Someday you'll grow up and you'll have a new family, 
and you'll be the family of families to come.